is from Freddie Lee from Beyond Comprehension. Freddie Lee's my guest in the studio. You're listening to the Gospel Show. Mike Rimmer sitting in for Nikki Tapper here on BBC WM and Coventry in Warwickshire. We'll go to travel in a second. Uh, things I'm asking you tonight, I want you to tell me about your celebrity encounters. Have you met, you know, kind of famous people? You know, maybe when they're not working or whatever, in a restaurant or on the street or whatever. Uh, and what were they like? Uh, I just, you know, I, I think it'd be interesting to hear your celebrity encounters. 08453 009956. You can text 07786 202956. Also, what was the last book that you read and uh, did it inspire you? 08453 You can text 07786 202956. Get in touch with the programme tonight. More from Freddie Lee in just a moment. <coughs> Hope you're doing well this evening. Uh, this is Mike Rimmer. I've got uh, Gary D and uh, also uh, Gary D and Ricky D. Uh, helping me out tonight. We'll talk to them in a little while. We'll, we'll do some what's ons and stuff. There's all kinds of things going on. But for the moment, uh, I've got Freddie Lee in the studio with me. Uh, who's wandered up. Now, as a child, you were picking beans and oranges and stuff to, to help your family make it. You come from yeah. quite a poor background, do you? Very, very poor. Very poor. I mean, uh, I mean, when I grew up, in the area where I grew up, ain't much there anyway. And um, to have to grow up to do work, like work in the fields. I mean, I work beans, oranges, corn, uh, strawberries. I mean, just about anything can grow in, in South Florida. We call it muck. I mean, it's a very, very rich type of soil. So just about everything grows there. I mean, myself, I mean, I didn't know what it was to watch cartoons and stuff like that on the weekends because we had to work. And sometimes after school, I had to go to work. But that, that has instilled some good values in you. I mean, that's why you, you, you're successful musically, is because you know how to work and you, mm -hmm. you're used to putting in the hours and, mm -hmm. and doing that. I mean, that's been instilled in you all your life. Yeah, yes, it, it has. And I appreciate the things that I have now coming from where I come from. And a lot of times I hear people say, oh, I'm tired. And I'll look around and say, you don't have no idea. What tired is. What tired is. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and also, also you know, uh, y your work ethic paid off because mm -hmm. as I discovered, you got two degrees. Yes, sir. You yes, see, sir. most people mm -hmm. are just ha satisfied with one. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got one in airway science. Yeah. You airway see, air science. airway science, I mean, uh, What's that? You know, is, is that is that your breathing airways? Yeah. Is, it, is it is it kind of things that fly? Type, what it's is it? A, it's an aerodynamics of uh, basically. I had a choice to either because I was in the Air Force for three years at the University of Miami. They had a bilateral program that ran uh, with uh, Florida Memorial University because the campus I was on, uh, where I was living, was a smaller campus. So I would go to the University of Miami to take classes for uh, to be an officer. And uh, you had to do all this aerodynamics and stuff like that. And I had an opportunity to go up, uh, and I was like, no, nah, I don't want to fly. So I'd rather get on, on the administrative side of things. You didn't want to fly? No, nah, man. You were in the Air Force, and you didn't want to fly? No, 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 no. I, 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 I didn't want I didn't okay. want. I mean, I didn't want to go into that side of it. And then after I got deeply into the military, after my three-year journey, I decided, you know what? I don't want to go in to do the active duty thing. So I decided to, to write myself out and just be a civilian and then start studying on the commercial side, uh, you know, like I said, the administrative side, mm -hmm. you know. Business uh, management. Yeah, and then that with business management and put the two together. So that's how it turned out. Isn't it interesting when you reflect back how different things in your life all contribute to making you, mm -hmm. not, not only making you the man that you are now, mm -hmm. but in terms of spiritually, Yo, yes. to prepare mm -hmm. you for the things that you've got to go and do? Oh, definitely. And I think uh, the spiritual aspect of it, to be honest, is the most important thing because a lot of things that I had gone through, even when I was in college, coming from where I was, I wasn't exposed to, to a whole lot of things. And after I left Pahokee, which is, a, you're looking at a, a, the whole population of Pahokee, about 5,500 people, if you're lucky. And then, and then go, to go to Miami, I was like, <laughs> looking around at all of these tall buildings and just, I've just... It felt kind of out of place, and I saw a lot of things that I wasn't uh, accustomed to, and that spiritual side of it, going to church and all of that, kind of kept me on the straight and narrow. So are you Southern or are you country? Uh, 
I would say country southern. Because <laughs> <laughs> people like to make a distinction. Some, yeah, people, some, some people kind of say, well, I'm country. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, tell us about singing uh, with Gloria Estefan. You did some studio yes, work with Miami did, Sound Machine. Miami Sound Machine. So were you doing backing vocals on, on Dr. Was, Beat? Yeah, uh, no, it was, um, <laughs> it was like a... The group I was in, we were the uh, gospel group, Message, and we were called to do backing vocals. I think she was doing a an advert or something, but she needed like uh, a quartet or something like that to do the backing vocals. And surprisingly, we we got a call to go in to do the backing vocals, and it was it was beautiful, beautiful. I can imagine.